Hi, Smiths. I hope you're doing well. Thank you so much for stopping by today. In this video, I want to work on the Junk Journal July Challenge, day number 11 and 12. And the prompt for 11 and 12, 11 is stamps, 12 is packaging, and I thought I would kind of combine those two together, as well as possibly do 10. So it would be 10, 11, and 12. So perhaps I should get the number zero out from my stamps here so that we can stamp it out but we'll have to see if that if I can um, do number 10 is the prompt thread so we'll have to see if that works uh, but if not that's okay too so day number nine the prompt was scraps and we created these beautiful little paper clusters and I'm going to be using these for my headings Actually, this is a really great, nice, long one that we could probably uh, stamp out the three numbers. So perhaps that one is good. This one is also quite long as well. I kind of like it more for the edge of the journal here because of the tab. So I think I'll save that for later. So I think I'm going to use this long piece for stamping out the days. But before stamping out the days, I want to make sure... <laughs> I don't know if I'll be able to do number 10, which is thread. Uh, but I did prepare in advance and bring out some needles there. So number 11 and 12 um, are the main ones that I want to work on. But I wanted to collect these beautiful stamps from Malaysia, from Jane the Crazy. And uh, she is also participating in Junk Journal July. I will leave her information down below, although you probably already know who she is. Um, so I, I don't know if I'll be able to collect them all in this video, but I did want to cut a couple of them and uh, use these for the prompt stamps. It doesn't mean uh, postage stamps, it could also mean just rubber stamping as well. Or it doesn't have to be stamping at all, it could be something um, like a snippet of information that you want to write about, about stamps. It's however you want to interpret that the prompt is okay. So I'm going to pick out a spread first. And then this piece I forgot to mention is packaging. I p purchased a small little... Um, stitch marker for my knitting hobby and they packaged it in this really cute envelope and so I wanted to use this somehow and and um, have it part of my journal maybe over here maybe on this side anyways we'll have to see um, let's start off by cutting out some of these stamps. I'm going to start off with just the corner bits here because I don't want to flush my address and I don't want to um, risk ripping it so I will definitely, I think I'm definitely going to just cut, cut it out instead. Oops, these are magnetic so it like <laughs> sticks to my scissors here. You gotta be careful of that. Some parts I'm able to remove the backing so that it creates uh, less bulk. So I'm going to remove what I can from the bubble wrap mailer. And 
and this beautiful one as well. I think I'm going to try and grab one more here. I will start off with just sharing about these three and then eventually when I have time I will hopefully cut some of more of these out and stick them in my journal here or in my regular uh, weekly journal. So I'm just going to trim off the yellow envelope in the back. I probably don't have the patience to actually soak the postage stamps in water and um, remove the stamps the proper way. <laughs> I'm quite an impatient person when it comes to working in my journals. I just, it's strange because I like being slow and, <laughs> but at the same time, uh, when it comes to certain things like fussy cutting or um, doodling something on the page. I'm quite impatient and I don't use pencil before I doodle. I'll just go right to it. It's, um, yeah, it's just something that, <laughs> one of my traits, I guess, as a journaler. But anyways, so I wanted to keep this bottom part because it says Malaysia on there. Okay, so let's work with this envelope and see what I want to do. I like the... I like this size, so I'm going to keep this size as is. And um, it was a sticker here, like this, but I'm going to open that flap up and just cut off this part here. So I haven't really done much to the envelope. I will most likely stick it on to the page directly or yeah, I will most likely stick it directly onto the page. So what I was thinking, I think I'm going to, now that I'm looking at my time, I should have enough time to work on prompt 10, 11 and 12, which 10 is thread, 11 stamps and 12 packaging. <laughs> so I have all those three covered in this video. So I took out uh, my needles, like I said, and I think I'm going to grab, I'm, I am have a hobby of knitting and crocheting, and these are the scrap yarn that I'm currently using um, on a granny stripe throw. I think I like this bright color. Maybe this one. Let's see. I love this pink color. But then I also like this orange. I think I'm going to stick to the orange just because I have more of it. <laughs> and um, I want to have enough yarn to work in my projects. So I'm going to stick with this. It's not like a solid orange. It's more of like a coral. And I'm not entirely sure what I'm doing here, but I'm just going to cut, I don't know, maybe about 30 centimeters or so of yarn and I'm going to wing it and let's see how this goes. <laughs> I'm going to grab my needle and because the yarn is, this is um, 
if you are a knitter, this is a uh, fingering weight, so it's not like a really big, thick yarn. I think I'll, I'll use the thinnest one that I have in my three pack and thread that through. So I want to keep this Malaysia here. I think I'm just going to see if I can poke a hole. There we go. You can see. Uh, I suppose it would be better to, if you have like a smaller craft punch, like a craft hole punch, that would be nice and more neat <laughs> instead of just being so barbaric and just <laughs> poking a hole. But I'm just going to thread, uh, sorry, knot, make a knot so that it doesn't pull through. Although I don't think I'm going to pull too hard. Uh, but just to make sure, we can always place some washi tape and hold that piece down. I just grabbed this very bright washi that I had on the on my dish there, on my desk. And so that way, the yarn hopefully won't budge. So there's that first bit there. Then I think I will thread this one. I think I want to have a little bit of a gap so that we can have fun with this yarn. If it's like too close, then you don't really see the yarn. Uh, when it's a little bit spread out, you can f see it moving and it's more interactive that way. So I think I'm just gonna go right into this top part here. Just be careful not to poke yourself. be something like that and I'm going to come back out from the back I think uh, if you have thicker yarn I think that would be fun as well maybe yarn that's more colorful would be also fun um, even like multiple yarns would be cool too eh <laughs> Anyways, let's get back into this last piece here. And I'll just put it right. I don't want to I don't want to poke the word. So I'm going to go right under the title there. And similarly leave a bit of a string there. And uh, like I said, I could continue cutting out more stamps and then threading them through and making them into a, like a nice long piece. That would be a lot of fun. For, but just for time constraints, I just wanted to share the general idea that I had in mind with thread and stamps and packaging. So let's cut this out and put this in here so I don't lose it. And once again, we're just going to add some washi tape to keep the edge of the yarn down or thread if you have. All right. I think stamps, postage stamps or postal stamps from different countries are so neat. These ones here as well from Malaysia. Try not to share my address, but um, yeah, they're so pretty. I don't know if you can see these illustrated ones as well. I think Jane was saying some of them are like um, older limited types. Some I have a package of stamps here that I have been hoarding. <laughs> I don't know, we're kind of off on a tangent, but this is Higuchi Yuko's cat uh, illustrations, and this is the artist, 
you go Higuchi. But I, yeah, I have to use these ones. I, I know I, I tend to keep things like this, uh, but I should use these stamps for sure. But anyways, back on to the journaling portion. So my thought was just to simply stick the lovely stamps into the envelope here. I think I'm going to glue this directly onto this page. Are you participating in Junk Journal July? And also, have you done day number? I would love to know what you did for thread. I'm so curious to see what other people create for thread. Um, I'm actually filming this on July the 1st, <laughs> getting ready uh, because I know that I, uh, July is going to be so busy for me. So I, I wanted to kind of get ahead of things and the prompt list is already out and I had a bit of time here. So I thought, why not? Right. And then this one, we created these lovely titles uh, for day nine, which was scraps. And so I think I'm going to glue that there and then write about my lovely stamps and package from Jane. So now that we were able to do, I wonder if we can fit 10, 11, and 12. So let's try and stamp that out. Eleven and twelve. I'm going to stamp the excess off on a separate piece of paper here. prepare the scrap paper in advance, eh? um, But yeah, I just like to use stuff like this in my journals, in my other journals as well. So uh, that's why I have, uh, I don't want to waste the ink <laughs> that's on the rubber stamp already. So there's that, that's perfect. Let's stick this one down here. And so that's what it looks like close up. And you can see, uh, I'll do my red corner. And then my son is home. So I will say goodbye and thank you so much for watching. I hope you um, had fun with this video and hopefully gave you some inspiration or ideas on fun ways to use uh, bits from your Happy Mail and packaging and yeah, just as long as you're having fun. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.